thank you very much for keeping pace with us here at Onif TV. Well, this is Serious Matters here with me, Olukunle Abraham. And of course, very first one we'll be looking at this morning is the uh, backlash at um, Ayo uh, Myers of Arise TV, you know, after she made a particular statement about um, the chairman of um, Nigeria's diaspora, um, uh, Honorable Abike Dabiri, to which Honorable Abike Dabiri had responded. And Nigerians have been reacting to her response, wondering, must you respond to everything or all of this? Well, some other persons have different opinions about her response that, well, um, Honorable Abike Dabiri has done so well and so much in recent time, and so she doesn't deserve to be hit by, you know, anybody saying any of this non I mean, sorts of stuff and all of that, and then they feel that she deserves more, more honorable, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean comments and all of that. And some people also came out from the angle from which, you know, Honorable Abike Dabiri had also, also, also responded that she's been, you know, she had attained what she is today by you know hard work and all of that well let's run quickly to the editorial well the chairman nigerians in diaspora need commission need come abike dabiri erewa has called on unduka umbagwe umba umba Igbena, chairman and editor-in-chief of the disney media group and arise tv to call his staffs to order Please do share our videos, so drop your comment, make them simple and simple. Of course, this is not the first time we are having such calls, you know, on Arise TV. But in recent time, we, disc we, we saw Arise TV win the television of the year. You know, the best television of the year. And of course, uh, they've had a lot of that, uh, be considering the position of uh, the likes of uh, uh, Rufai Oseni and all of that. They, their position when they are giving their comment had always received, you know, uh, all sort of... Uh, reactions from politicians and major i mean a lot of nigerians dabiri erewa made the call via her official twitter andrew on wednesday may 24 2023 after the station's anchor ayo myro say accused her of calling nigerian youths as cost cultists and drug dealers on her show while analyzing the controversial comment of a uk-based nigerian youtuber md tiamiu about Nigerian students in the United Kingdom, Myro Ese accused both President Muhammad Buhari and Dabiri Abike Dabiri, you know, of demarketing Nigerians. He, she said, I don't know why Nigerians like to demarket Nigeria on the international scene. Take it back to 2016, our president and chief ambassador of Nigeria referred to Nigerian youths as largely lazy, and that the United Kingdom should not grant young people asylum because some of the nigerian youths are criminals the chairman of nidcom nigerians in diaspora commission honorable abike dabiri had referred to nigerians nigerian youths as courtists and drug dealers some of them so what md tiamiu is saying is what some of the leaders have said reacting to the allegation dabiri who worked as a broadcast journalist for years before vying into politics, said that the Arise TV anchor was ruining the broadcast profession. He said, I worked hard to be where I am today. And if women now know where your age and achievements feel the way, the only way to bring you down is spewing nonsense, then will, they will meet their Waterloo. Unduka Obaigbena had better call his, these girls at Arise TV, ruining the broadcast profession to order. She actually referred to them as girls. <laughs> you know, and because some people are sort of just said, well, must, must, you, must you respond to everything? You know, but then I also feel, uh, I feel, I feel aside of it. But then, uh, you know, I also felt that, look, you are honorable. You are a honorable person. Uh, well, how honorable is this particular response, you know, to uh, what you saw or what you had? I mean, how many things do you want to respond to? How many things do you want to, I mean, it will have been better, you know, correcting. You know, I, I've seen a lot of people come on Arise TV and when they have been asked questions, even though some, sometimes it looks as if they have been attacked and all of that, they still find, it, find a place in their heart to say, let me correct this. Let me correct. I mean, Ben Ayadi. Wow, what a great man! I, I, I was I was listening and I watched the way he responded to questions. He was he was he was constructive. He didn't attack the anchor. 
even though they were telling him you failed this you failed this one failed under you this one has been this one has been this one has been he calmly responded calmly responded that's the governor of Cross River State. So we, we, I think, I think there's a need for that. In any case, that's my job. That's just my opinion. And also, I don't support that any uh, a legend or leader should be uh, should be abused or you know spoken to or about you know uh, in any way that is not uh, honourable. So, but then uh, I still feel that things just have to be done correctly. Well, this is the show. Please feel free to drop your comment, make them simple and simple. Let us know what your opinions are on this particular one. Of course, Natiamiu, MD, Nikos, this one. In any case, let's hear your comments. Thank you. God bless you.